talking guys, Nogginator, aka the guy that got first place in the Jeep Trail Cat by only 4 points to computers. But Winter Wonders is now complete, which means we have the new John Cooper Works buggy that was added into the game as part of the mini month. There it is, the legendary vehicle. And we get 25,000 as well. Today we're going to be building it for rally, doing some rally races, seeing what kind of upgrades we can do in general. And yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and head into the my cars and over to Mini. Uh, like I said, we got a lot of new Mini cars in uh, Update 9. It was, like they said, the Mini month of May. I mean, there are plenty of them already that we've unlocked, including the uh, convertible one. That one was pretty cool as well, but I think this buggy is probably the biggest, like, the most exciting Mini uh, that we have here because it's really its own thing. It's like a... It's like a rally monster type of vehicle, and I kind of want to see what kind of upgrades we can do to it. All that good stuff. Uh, so here it is, the X-Ray John Cooper works. It looks huge. It starts off at 340 horsepower. Uh, that's pretty good. I guess its best thing here is a launch. It's a rear-wheel drive. That is interesting for a rally vehicle. I might make it all-wheel drive, I'll just say. I said, we'll see what kind of upgrades you can do to it. Thing looks mean. That's what I can tell you. It does not look like a mini uh, John Cooper works whatsoever. Uh, but yeah, look at that. Looking good. The butterfly doors looks good inside there as well. So pretty cool car thing. Rally buggy. Uh, let's look at our upgrades. What we can put in here. Let's see. We can put a turbo rally or a racing V8. Not going to do that. As you see, this engine already has a turbo on it. Uh, as you can see by the power spike. Uh, I do want to all drive swap this. It's going to make the launch a lot worse. Which is very interesting. So I keep it rear. I don't know why it would make the launch worse in this car. Being all wheel drive. But hey, I mean this car looks like it was meant to be rear wheel drive. So we'll just keep it that way. Not a whole lot of upgrades. In fact, we can just increase the tire width. Let's go ahead and do that. Do the rims get any lighter? Yes, 27 pounds lighter. Uh, it was since 40 pounds lighter. It does. Doesn't look right, but whatever. Alright, uh, brakes we can do. We're going to want to do those. And our roll bars, of course. Our race anti roll bars. What kind of weight reduction can we do? 481 pounds. I like it. I like it a lot. And in the engine. We do have a twin turbo, like I said before, so let's go ahead and do that. It's going to give us 78 more horsepower. Restrictor plate, going to go ahead and take that off. Like the flywheel. Uh, displacement's going to go all the way up. So this thing's going to be... It's not going to be a, a perfect vehicle uh, for like racing because it's not at the top of a certain class. It is uh, A776. So 3,800 pounds. 500 less than before and our lateral G's go up by just 0.1 uh, but our PI goes up by 102 and we gain 150-ish uh, horsepower uh, from doing all those little upgrades so overall this thing comes pretty well made stock uh, as I'm getting out of this I mean it after all it is a John Cooper works vehicle so it's not going to be the most uh a horsepower in the world. I mean, it's still the same brand, so the same uh, motto of the vehicle, but it's just a different, different design of it. So let's go ahead and hear it. Oh, that sounds good. All right, looks pretty cool so far. I want to take this to the tunnel, and we're going to see what it sounds like. All right, here we are in the tunnel. Let's look at the first person. Got a lot of cool stuff here. A lot of... Oh, come on, there we go. Yeah, so we got our GPS and all that goodness over there. All right, let's go ahead and hear it. Alright, it sounds good. 
And we are in winter, so you know what that means? We're going to go ahead and take this thing across the Durant, uh, res, uh, the Durant water. I don't know why I tried to call it a reservoir. Uh, but like I said, this is only frozen during the winter. And this car came out in the winter almost like it was uh, meant to be. Kind of. It probably was. So, yeah, we're going to drive this across the ice and see what exactly it can do. <clears throat> Alright, let's see how many uh, bumps and stuff we hit. Maybe it's got a good top speed across here. You never know. I guess we can test the top speed. The suspension is pretty good on this thing. There are plenty of bumps in here always. Uh, but as you see, nothing is really happening. Everything is kind of sticking good to it. Not even turning the vehicle. I mean, it's standing uh, in its straight path. And we're going to hit this jump here into a tree. 160 miles an hour is what we hit. That's what the other side of it looks like. So, yeah, it goes across the uh, frozen lake pretty good. Let's do a um, let's do a dirt. Let's do one of these cross country races, and that's what we will finish. And we'll do it on this one. This one looks pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do that, and yeah, that will be the end of the showcase of this vehicle. Because you know, there's only so much with a new vehicle. Uh, obviously, when the Apollo. Uh, comes out I do want to mess with that a lot I want to make different videos for it uh, like I want to make an s2 video like where I build it to the top of s2 and see how well it competes uh, and then if it goes to X class uh, I want to you know make a video on that see how well it competes there we do different type of builds uh, all this good stuff and of course I'll make the video of me unlocking the car but yeah I think that car is going to be really really good I think it's going to really be a uh how to say like I, I think it's gonna be a, a new top car to use. I don't know why uh I did that. I need to just make one that I am in right now. Off road buggies is the class as expected. So what kind of cars are we gonna be going against here I guess? Okay so the alumni craft and uh, Ariel and stuff like that so that's what we're gonna be using here. Uh, it seems very, very fun. Alright, here we go in our mini. Got all these lightweight vehicles in front of us. And we got this huge thing, so... Not sure how well this is going to... Okay, well, it looks like it handles a lot better uh, than all these vehicles. It might actually have a top, uh, higher top speed, too. I'm not very... Not so sure on that. Once again, I, I didn't actually see if these other cars were at the top of A-Class, because remember, we are not at the top of A-Class. We're in the middle uh, at 776, so... Right now, it's not it's nothing too quick. Uh, I could put the V8 in here. Yeah, that's always an option. Maybe, if you guys want to see that in another video, let me know, and I'll put a V8 in this thing, and we can uh, make a build on that and drive that thing around. I think that would be pretty fun. Uh, missed that yep I think that'd be pretty fun too because you know if, imagine this with a little more horsepower you know <laughs> if it's gonna give you more than a little more horsepower so that'd be pretty fun halfway through this race right now we're in eight I think we can definitely catch up to these guys up here no doubt in my mind this thing turns a lot better mostly because of the much larger wheels in the wheelbase compared to the other cars uh, in this class you know we can just drive right through a corner basically all the other guys might have to drift through or take a longer way around as you see you can kind of just do that uh, which is very easy uh, we're in the top half now podium don't think it's gonna happen he's up there I don't know if this thing has a higher top speed does not appear like it has the alumni craft next to us is much faster all right, maybe not at this point. It's very interesting. So maybe in fifth gear it's a slow car, sixth gear it is pretty quick. So I also think it, it's quick at going up these uh, hills and stuff and turning through uh, compared to the other cars. So overall, does this car compete in A class? 
I'm not going to say that it does. You know, it, to me, you got to put the V8 engine in it. I haven't even tried that yet, but it's just not quick enough. So, yeah. Uh, that's the end of this. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.